On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonares to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. What is going on guys and welcome to another on drop rate episode. In the last one we went for the giant mole pets and we did get it on only 500 kills roughly in and after that we went for the chaos fanatic to get the malediction shard which we also got below the drop rate in 101 kills. This one, we're going for a crazy rare item. The Goblin Champion Scroll. That's why I'm right here. It's 1 in 5,000, but it's going to be a fairly short grind. I'm going to be using Cannon and a full Armadil setup, which is, of course, extremely overkill. But it's going to be very interesting. We're going to be doing a lot of Clue Scrolls, Beginners, Easy, and maybe we can get something valuable from that. Now I have to admit, I am not the most experienced goblin killer in old school runescape, but I think putting my cannon here is going to be fine. How did that not get one shot? How tanky are these goblins? Anyways, let's see the first loot. Hammer, bronze bolts. My goodness, this is going to make me so much money. Okay, I have to mark these. I just got a beginner clue and I'm going to be marking them like this. This is where most of my money... Oh my god, I got two on the same one. I wasted one. Maybe I can complete it before it even despawns, but uh, regardless, this beginners and uh, the easy clue scrolls that I'm going to be getting from this is going to be the majority of the loot. Okay, I'm definitely not making it back to that other beginner clue, so we're going to be losing some of them. This one is a three-step beginner clue, and I had to buy some items, a chef's hat and a red cape to complete it, as well as I have to buy a damn trout that I have to cook. Beginner clues, man, they can be difficult sometimes, and all I'm going to get is like a steel longsword or something. I felt a bit wild, I went ahead and bought 100 raw trouts, I mean it's 10,000 GP, so it's quite a lot, but I feel like it's going to be worth it for this video. Guaranteed casket, and I'm not going to be opening these right now, I want to put all of them in the bank and we're going to be opening them at the end. This includes the easy clues as well, so I will have a big stack of probably both of them at the end. Alright, so that was 10 cannonballs and I already have an easy clue scroll, so we're going to of course do that as well. And I mark them now so I can see them very easily, but no duplicates this time, so not wasting anything. I do have to say, I do feel it's important to actually show you guys I have not killed the goblin champion yet. The only one I've killed is the hill giant one or the giant one, which means I can get the scrolls still, so it's not like I've done this and I just don't know it. I didn't make sure I checked it and it is all good. You can see in the chat we got an easy and a beginner in the same tick, but another thing I want to talk about is we just hit almost 1000 kills on that, 994, and the average kill is 143 GP per average. But I'm also building all the stash units for the easy and the beginner clues meanwhile I'm doing them. You can see I got 18 beginners and 11 easy clue scrolls, so I'm expecting to do probably all the stash units during this grind, maybe missing a few of them. Because I get these tips kind of frequently where I actually need gear. So building them all is going to be a nice convenience. Oh my god, even killing goblins have all these loot beams that give me so much dopamine. I mean, it's going to be very fun to open all of the clue scrolls at the end of this. And I think I have at this point probably built most of the stash units. I actually just ran around. I bought like every item for every clue step. I will try to juggle these, I think. But uh, yeah, very nice to have all the stash units done. Realized I did not need the ranged bonus from the armadil gear and running around with armadil gear doing all the clue scrolls is not the most efficient. We also just hit 2000 goblin kills and it's not looking good so far. No champion scroll and uh, we're not even at the halfway point though so we should be fine. I still have a decent chance of getting the champion scroll. It's not really much to show, I know that, but uh, another milestone, 3000 kills in just a second here. 
And still no champion scroll. I mean, the longest time I've ever been here without going away and doing a clue scroll was like three minutes. So really for me, everything is just putting up the cannon, do clue scrolls, repeat. Like, it's actually ridiculous. I think the average time for me getting any clue scroll drop at all, beginner or easy, was like 35 seconds. And we're now 4,000 kills in, and I've decided to just get both an easy and a beginner before I actually go and do them, because it was getting kind of ridiculous. I literally got like 20 kills in a few seconds, as I said. Got a clue scroll, had to repack everything, come back, and uh, put up my cannon for 20 more seconds, and then I had to run again. I have done so many clue scrolls in this video, and I'm now at 4,998 kills. Let's get the counter to 5,000. One more goblin after this one. Probably not going to get another clue scroll. And we've got 65 beginners and 41 easy clue scrolls on this grind. 5,000 goblins killed, and it's worth less than 700k, but uh, pretty much all of the money is going to come from these clue scrolls. But let's see how many we actually have in the bank, because I did get some that I could not pick up, and I lost them. Now, the tracker actually showed the 65 beginners and 41 easy clue scrolls, but I ended up getting 67 beginners and 40 easy ones in my bank. I think it did not track some of the beginner ones, and I did miss one easy clue scroll, so we actually got more beginners than it showed, but one less easy, but I'm completely fine with that. But first, let's actually have a look at the collection log. This is my beginner one. I only have the black pickaxe and the bare feet. And I've opened 15 ones overall, so hopefully we will get a lot of these collection logs unlocked. And on the easy one, I've actually opened 166 of them, so quite a lot more. But we've got really none of the really rare items. Maybe the wooden shield G is a bit more rare. I don't think it actually is that rare. So that is not really going to count in. We have got the ham joint and some other interesting stuff. You can see everything right here. But let's get on with opening all of the clue scrolls. I'm going to be giving away everything from these clue scrolls and the majority of the money is of course here. The 700k that I got from the goblins is not really too much to talk about, but I'm going to begin with the beginners. It's very fitting for the name. And let's go ahead and open these kind of fast. So the first one, leather chaps. Yeah, everything is uh, kind of bad from these, but as soon as I see that pop up of the collection log, it's going to be nice to see anything. So far it's not looking good whatsoever give me one sec i'm actually going to enable so i track all of these on rune light because i had them turned off for beginners i'm just going to go through them like all the way until the end i am not going to bank in between because all i really care about is those collection log items there we go the monk robes tea I'm going to be dropping just some random stuff to keep that in my inventory and i'll keep going cabbages nothing too interesting i mean beginners truly are terrible and there is another item, Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit, Saradomin. Let's pick that up as well from the ground. Beautiful. Let's keep going. And two collection log items unlocked so far. Not that bad. But uh, completing the beginner collection log is probably kind of easy, actually, because they're so easy to get. Another one, Amulet of Defense T. Let's pick that up as well. None of them are really that valuable. I know that there is one item or two items that is kind of valuable. That is the mole feet or mole slippers, maybe they're called. And the um, parrot that you can have. The shoulder parrot is pretty valuable. Both of them around at least 500k to 1 million, I think. If I get any of them, I can show you guys, but uh, it is not looking good so far. It's just a bunch of random stuff. Sandwich lady hats. Nice, another unique. 3.4k. Yeah, these are not valued at the... It's not even worth anything, so I, can, I can't pick it up. It's not at the top of the thing. Unfortunately, I guess I have to bang. Give me one sec. Everything's cleaned up. Let's go ahead and open the last 14 beginners. Can we get the shoulder parrot or the mole slippers, the more valuable items? So far, I can see on the tracker, by the way, everything so far is worth 166k. So, uh, yes, beginners are terrible, but the last one is nothing as well. Just look in the chat, 155 coins, 1k, 1k, 1k. Yeah, uh, not too interesting. Let's just go to the more interesting part of the easy clue scrolls. But of course, we did unlock some unique, so we have 6 out of 16 in 82 beginners. That is pretty decent, I would say, but let's go ahead and open the easy caskets. These ones have actually some really high ticket items worth millions of GP. 
So let's see if we can get lucky or not. First one is not that good. These are not... I mean, purple sweets are good. They are always decent value. You can see 30k for just four of them. So that is very nice. A unique black plate legs tea. Not too valuable, I think. 34,000 GP. And a lot of black items. Okay, Samurai page one. That used to be worth a lot of money back in the days. But now it is not a very good item when people have optimized the game quite a bit. And uh, it is not good so far. 3.7k for a Bandos page, I think that was. Oh, Master Clue Scroll. I'm actually going to do this, but uh, the chance of getting Master Clue Scrolls from this is very small. So I'm just going to keep going all the time. Sarah Domain page 4. That's a nice pop-up because that's a shared one. It's uh, between all of the different Clue Scrolls. So getting the unique pages is always very nice. 292k for a black plate body G. Guess that's free to play fashion. A lot of people might like that. And ooh, look at that. It's even a big beam. Guess I'm going to bank. Oh, I accidentally opened a few without recording, but uh, there you go. Sarah Domin robe legs and an amulet of magic tea. I already have the amulet of magic, but not the robe legs. But let's keep going. 12 more to go. 100k, mostly probably in the purple suites. Two pages in one of them. All right, the last 10. I really want a team cape. That would be really nice. They are worth a lot of money. Of course, I will give away everything from these clue scrolls, and it would be fun to give away something a bit more valuable. Black, kite shield, tea. All these items, the black shields and stuff like that, seem to be worth a lot. Maybe it's actually the lumberyard teleports this time, though, so not really. 25k for black skirt G. 1k to 2.4k. It's not looking good for the last ones here. 365 GP. Oh, there we go. Cape of... Oh, I think that's the most valuable one. Almost 10 million. We love to see it. Oh my god, and almost the last one. Can we get a back-to-back -back team cape? Come on, please let me. Please. No, we do not. Oh my god, look at that. That is beautiful. Do I even have space to put everything in? I do not, but... Uh, Wow, Cape of Skulls. I think that has... To, I'm going to put the drop rates of all the team capes on the screen right now. I haven't checked myself yet, but you can see the drop rates. This is rare, man. This is really rare. It gives a skull when you equip it as well. Let's do that. Wow, that, that was all worth it. Everything was worth it. Very nice. We could complete the Master Clue Scroll here at Follow the Bard. So let's go ahead and open it and see how much money we're going to add to the end giveaway. All of it is of course going right to it. So let's open it and we get how much? 577k. That is not bad actually. I have to say I did not expect to get this much money from killing 5,000 goblins. But the overall money I got from all the Clue Scrolls and the goblins together is 12 and a half million GP. A green cash stack from killing 5,000 goblins. Of course, Cape of Skulls carried basically everything, so I was really lucky on that, but uh, it's always nice to be lucky. And how you win this is going to be on the screen right now. Good luck to all of you. Massive thank you to Edward Bobsled and Gustavo Obro for supporting the channel as members. You can do this as well for $3 a month by clicking the join button below the video. Thank you so much. I do know this was quite a unique video, but I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless. It doesn't always have to be incredibly hard bosses to kill in the series, and that is the fun part. There is so much flexibility, we can do anything really that has a rare drop on it. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. As I said, like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to see future uploads. And until next time guys, take care.